Namaste. Good morning or good afternoon wherever you are. Welcome to Roots at YNG Studios. I'm Anna Cannon and I am going to remind you two very important things that sometimes we start the day and get really busy, especially in our minds, everything else that we give importance to. And with the practice of yoga, it's super important to guide our minds immediately, the moment we wake up, to the Divine Presence, to Source. So I invite you to elevate your thoughts to the highest, to Source. Take your time to have a seat. Close your eyes. Straighten your spine. Find relaxation in this present moment, knowing that you are loved unconditionally. Take a deep inhale, get taller, keep your shoulders relaxed down, keep your facial muscles relaxed down. The foundation of teachings of yoga, philosophy, is to help us commune with God. To meditate in His glorious gift. to practice gratitude in every moment. For absolutely everything that we have, we give thanks, even to struggles, we give thanks. We learn lessons to the obstacles that are placed on our path. And we also invoke God's present to remove those obstacles. So our path is clear. Our mind is clear. Take a couple more breaths here. Find stillness. Remembering that we move a lot in the asana practice. We stretch the body. We open up. But moments of stillness are sacred. We receive messages, divine guidance. We learn how to listen in the silence of our hearts. It's where everything lies, everything resides. Touch your heart center with both hands and feel your heartbeat and honor the heartbeat, your breath, your life. The simple things that we honor, they are actually extraordinary. Bless me. Inhale. And slowly make your way to your hands and knees. Open your eyes. Look up to the sky. Inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Spread your fingers on the mat. Your wrists are under the shoulders and your knees under the hips. Open mouth. Exhale. Stick your tongue out. Get pose in lion's breath. Four more, moving is slowly, inhaling, letting the breath initiate and the movement follow, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Two more, breathe in, breathe out. 
Last one, the deepest breath. Inhale, start deepening the breath and going deep into the full expression of your pose. Exhale to your cat's fine lines breath. Look forward, your right foot steps in between the hands. Find your lunge. Stabilize first. Bring your hands to your right knee. Press your pelvis forward. Feel the stretch in the groins. Feel how stable you can put yourself with your right foot pressing down, your left knee pressing down. Stabilize. And then when you are ready, stretch your arms to the sky and maybe arch back. Start strengthening to the spine. Inhale, shoulders relax down, but spread your fingers to the sky as you exhale, both pose to your arms. Take a breath here, inhale, and then stretch your arms to the side, turn your thumbs down and interlace the hands behind the back. Massage your lower back here with your knuckles. Inhale, press your pelvis forward, stay to the exhale. Slide your knuckles in your left hamstring and roll your shoulders down. And open the heart, lift your heart to the sky, inhale, Frame your right foot, exhale. Curl the back toes, the back knee lift. The left hand stays down, the right arm will lift. Reach up to the sky, inhale. Twist deeper, exhale. Right hand down, step back, lower to the knees. I like to start our roots class. Dashtanga Namaskar. The knees are down. You bend your elbows towards the ribs as you exhale all the air out. So the upper arms will glue to the torso. Your shin will come all the way down to the mat. Your tailbone is lifted. And then your chest comes down and your belly comes down. Legs come together and interlace the hands behind the back. And massage your lower back here again with your knuckles. And pay attention in your toenails. The toenails press down. You start reaching your knuckles to the back to open the heart. Gaze to the nose or gaze to the mat. And keep reaching your knuckles to the heels towards the back wall and pressing the toenails down. Rolling the shoulders back and reaching the crown forward. Inhale, create the extension and the expansion. Exhale to a child's pose. Your hands are beside your ribs. Press your hands gently. Open the knees wide. Forehead to the mat, child's pose. Lengthening the tailbone towards the back and stretching your fingers forward. You're pressing the hands down and the uh, elbows are lifted. Your biceps and triceps are engaging towards one another. Take a couple more breaths here. In child's pose, Balasana. And you can always come back to child's pose. Even if I don't bring you, you have permission to do whatever feels good to you. Always coming back to reconnect with your breath, with the earth that gives us stability, balance, strength, and energy. Take another inhale here. And then slowly make your way to your hands and knees as you exhale, your left foot to step forward. So take your time. If you need to use the help of the hands, always support yourself, okay? Bring your hands to your left leg, stabilize first. You can keep your knee over your ankle and just feel the stretch in the groins. If you want, you can go a little bit deeper into the lunge and also you can explore your arch in your spine. If you want, you can lift your gaze as well. So the lunge, the groins stretching, the spine arching gently. You don't need to go any deeper, especially because you remember to breathe is the most important thing. The shoulders are relaxed down. Your arms will lift up to the sky. Inhale. Bow post your arms as you exhale. Shoulder blades are drawing to the chest. Fingers spread wide. Roll the shoulders down. Inhale. You can stretch your arms to the side. And then you're going to turn your thumbs down. Feel the internal rotation of your arms. And you're going to interlace the hands behind the back. Massage a little back again. Self-love is part of our practice. We are present in everything that we are doing. We are controlling our minds. We are controlling our breath. We are aware of the divine presence flowing within with our breath. Slide your knuckles down and open your heart to the sky. Roll the shoulders down. Inhale, look up. If that feels safe on your neck, you lift your gaze. Exhale, frame your left foot. Curl the back toes. The back knee lifts. Stabilize. Right hand down. Left arm to the sky, dragonfly twist. Squeeze the back leg muscle into the bone. 
Breathe the lines of energy. Navel into the spine. Scoop it towards the spine. Press your back into the back. And your crown reaches forward. Inhale. Ashtanga Namaskara. Your hands down. You step back. You lower to the knees. You bend your elbows towards the ribs. Chin, chest, belly. This time, Bhujangasana. Your hands can stay on the mat. Toe nails pressed down. If you want, you can hover the hands. The elbows turn towards one another. If you want, you can just touch the heads of the fingers down. Inhale, child's pose, exhale. Breathe. Four. Action in the breath, relaxation. Taking time to stay connected. During this whole hour, we are connected with the Divine Presence. And the beautiful thing about this practice is that as we spend the whole time on the mat connected with Divine Presence, we take that connection to our activities later on. So we do not lose that connection. It becomes our life. We are always connected. Curl your toes, engage the core, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Moving in downward dog, bending one knee at a time. Let the head hang. Keeping both hands grounded, evenly into the mat. Move side to side with your breath. You inhale in one side, you exhale on the other side. Find stillness in your downward dog. Inhale, you're going to walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat to meet with the feet. And you're going to fold in a rag doll pose. You're going to bend the knees a lot. Press the four corners of your feet into the mat. Lift the toes. Let your head drop. And touch opposite elbows with opposite hands. Keep your feet grounded. And sway side to side slowly like a pendulum. With your breath. The breath is in and out through the nose. The breath is audible. The breath is constant. And the breath is conscious. Very important. So as we connect with the breath in every moment, we are connected with Divine Presence because the holiest vibration is our breath. Release the hands down, press down through the feet, and articulate your spine as you stack one vertebra on top of the other. With the knees bent a little bit or a lot, you choose how you move. You're going to rise all the way up to standing slowly with your arms hanging, and your head will come last. Moving slowly, there is no rush, especially in the roots class. Pay attention to our feet, the structure of our poles in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Your palms can turn forward or you can turn the palms towards your legs. This is it or this is it. There is no right and wrong in yoga, there is right and left. So we are working towards our balance as we find equal standing in our mountain pose, pressing down to the feet. The toes can lift, and you can keep them lifted. I like to keep my toes lifted, energizing more my body. If you want, you can grab your mat with your toes. And keep the kneecaps lifting, and draw that tailbone down if you want the help of the hands. Take that tailbone under so there is no arch. We do have a natural curve in the spine, but you can use the help of the hands to draw that tailbone down and to create your Udiyana Bandha. You squeeze your navel into the spine. Your Mula Bandha is active. All the Bandhas are active. The Jaladara Bandha active. The shin is drawing slightly towards the chest and your crown is lifting to the sky. Your shoulders are relaxed. Your legs are active. Your facial muscles are relaxed. Your breath is active. We are active and we are relaxed. Stira Sukha Asana. There is no reason to struggle. 
we are comfortable in our posture and we are strong we are calm walk the hand bring your hands to pray and walk the feet to the top of the mat toes touch inner ankles slightly apart if you want to take a peek at your feet your toes will touch inner toes touch inner knees touch inner ankles a little bit apart samastihi always remembering our intention our sankalpa is our connection with god this is the goal of the yogi is the communion with god reach up look up inhale exhale to fold inhale to a halfway leg exhale step back ashtanga namaskar drop to the knees bend your elbows lower to the belly find a low cobra bhujangasana inhale gaze low exhale slowly downward dog three breaths movement or stillness your shoes pelvis lift gaze navel hands grounded maybe lift the toes spiral in the thighs towards the back take another inhale lift the heels look forward step or walk to the top of the mat lift halfway you can use the blocks to touch to lift the earth a little bit higher or you can touch the shin or the knees exhale to fold in half grounded through the feet you can roll the spine up or this time you can bring your spine flat inhale exhale hands to heart center second round samasthi reach up inhale exhale to fold inhale to lengthen exhale ashtanga namaskar you step to your plank you lower the knees you bend your elbows you lower to the belly if you want to come on up higher to a high cobra inhale we are warming up the spine exhale you can crow the toes to take your hips to the sky to adho mukha svanasana downward facing dog breathe three breaths pelvis lift spiraling the thighs to the back keep the hands grounded gaze navel inhale look forward walk or step or tippy toe to the top of the mat in my roots class i usually don't hop or jump forward lengthen halfway inhale it's always your choice exhale to fold fold tight grounded through the feet rise up look up inhale high mountain exhale sama city heat bring your hands to your hips elbows in and separate your feet hip distance i'm gonna face forward for this one elbows in heart lifted inhale kneecaps lift toes lift crown lift exhale fold in half grab your two big toes we create a, a hook with your peace fingers and thumb look forward breathe in expand and breathe out to bend the elbows to the side stay there open the sit bones to the back and allow the crown of the head to move down towards the earth keep the knees slightly bent and take your pelvis a little bit higher tailbone lifts press down through the heels Bend your elbows deeper and let go of the head. Remember that there is no resistance. We resist resistance. Take another breath. Feel that release as you let your head drop. Remembering that one of our goals as yogis is to control the mind. There is a lot of release happening in the head, mind and the thoughts. Let go your two big toes, lengthen halfway, inhale. Slide your hands under the soles of the feet, palms face up. Stay here to the exhale. Lift halfway, inhale and bend your elbows to the sides as you exhale. 
Shake the head if you want or stay in stillness. Press down to the heels and take your pelvis higher. And allow your trapezius muscles to lift away from the ears. Going deeper, breathing deeper. Stay in hell. Stay exhale. Release the hands, lift halfway, inhale. Toheal the feet together, bend the knees a lot and lean the upper body back for Utkatasana. So you can keep your arms in a V shape. I personally like to bring my palms to touch and to cross one thumb behind the other. So this time my right thumb is crossing behind my left thumb. And next time I do chair pose, I'm going to switch because I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. We always pay attention. Take a breath here, inhale. And exhale, open the arms to the side and bring your left hand again to your tailbone and your right hand to your belly. And we're going to adjust the pelvis a little bit here again so there is that slight tilt in the pelvis, keeping that belly button scooping in and up, all right, with the help of the hands. Go back to your expression. I know the legs are burning and that helps us build uh, burn impurities that we are holding unnecessarily. Also, helping us build up stamina. Take another inhale and then fold as you exhale. Lift halfway, inhale and stay here as you exhale. You're gonna bend one knee at a time and you're gonna move the head right and left. So you're gonna bring the gaze to the side to help you release tension in the neck. And you bend in one knee at a time and you feel the, hope, the opening in the sides of the hips. Eventually, you want to keep the legs long and inhale to your halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, you're going to bend the knees a lot and find Yudkatasana again, chair pose. And this time, I'm crossing my left thumb behind my right thumb. Inhale, tailbone tucked under, exhale, open the arms to the side. Now my right hand will come to my lower back to slide my tailbone down with the help of my right hand and my left hand is helping me squeeze my navel into the spine. Go back to your Utkatasana, inhale, exhale your hands in prayer, prayer twist to the right. Sometimes when we twist in chair, one knee moves forward, take a peek at your knees so you try to keep the inner knees touching. If they separate, it's no big deal, but try to keep them aligned and play with your gaze, gaze over your right shoulder for Pashva Drishti. And try to touch your heart center with your thumbs in your prayer gesture, Anjali Mudra. Connect with your heartbeat is a very beautiful, powerful gesture to twist in chair and remember your prayers, your intention. Back to center, inhale, arms left, exhale, hands in prayer, twist left. Let it burn, impurities that we hold in the body, impurities that we hold in the mind, in the heart, as we bend the knees and we are feeling those legs burning. Let it burn. Inhale. Build up the stamina, endurance. Stay through the exhale. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Touch the earth. You're going to come to the tippy toes. Inhale. Bend the knees a lot. Stay here with your hands down, lower the knees towards the earth a few inches, and then lower the forehead towards the knees. Stay here, feeling the back of your heart space opening, the back of your neck, the back of your skull. Fold a little bit deeper, creating the shape of that palm. Very slowly lift the head, lift the gaze, drop down the heels and straighten your legs. Lift halfway, inhale. Your left foot steps to the back. Lower the left knee down and walk your right foot all the way towards the right side of your mat. Create that angle with your right foot. It's a lizard lunge. I'm going to stay here for a few breaths and there are different options. You can always use the blocks or anything to support you at home. You can keep your hands down or you can lower the forearms down. 
I like to lower my forearms down, but just to keep my elbows down. And I'm going to massage my third eye, the space between the eyebrows, the space of intuition and knowledge and wisdom to wake up. It also helps me relax my forehead. I have a tendency to, you know, to frown my head. It's an expression of concern or doubt. So coming to the mat to really have compassion with ourselves, to observe our tendencies, our behaviors, our habits. And with grace towards ourselves, helping let it go. You can also curl the back toes and lift the back knee. You can stay more relaxed or more active in the pose. Take a couple more breaths, inhale, and stay through the exhale. Lower the left knee down, bring your hands down. Use the help of the hands to lift the head. Curl the back toes, the back knee lifts. We're going to walk the hands in between the feet, toes pointing towards one another, heels away from one another. Take a half relift here, inhale, and fold in between the legs as you exhale. Bend the elbows towards the back, the wall behind you. Adjust the stance between the feet. Press down through the heels and lift your sit bones to the sky. You can keep the knees slightly bent, it's totally fine. Whatever you want to do to just let go the head. It's very important here to be mindful that we are really releasing the mind, the thoughts, the confusion, the illusion. Couple more breaths. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Lift halfway, inhale, walk the hands towards your left foot, and you're going to bend the knees to slowly stack the back foot to meet with the front foot. And you're moving with grace, with beauty, inhale, doing the best in every moment, bend the knees and find Utkatasana. Take a breath, inhale. My right thumb is behind my left thumb, I know absolutely everything that is happening, my toes are lifted. My breath is flowing, my shoulders are relaxed, inhale, hands in prayer, prayer twist to the right. Great. Play with your gaze, maybe close the eyes. It is challenging to close the eyes, but that takes us to a journey deeper within. Not to judge ourselves, but to really observe how can we go deeper into the twist, into the breath, come back to center, breathe in. Exhale, prayer twist to the other side. Pashva Drishti, gazing over the left shoulder, knees touching. You can lower your right shoulder down to really help you twist deeper. But I'm not collapsing my torso down. I have awareness that my core is strong and I'm using the help of my triceps to twist deeper to help me detox all the impurities. Within me, the spine, when we twist the spine, it helps us cleanse, detox, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Left halfway, inhale. Your right foot steps to the back. Lower the right knee down. Walk your left foot all the way to the left side of the mat. Adjust the foot, maybe walk it forward a little bit so you feel good with the space that we are creating with your groins, opening, stretching. Find your laser lunge, whatever variation suits you this morning. Breathing. This evening, wherever you are. Two more breaths, relaxing the facial muscles, massaging your third eye, asking for wisdom. Asking that we are completely guided by divine knowledge, by truth. Use the help of the hands to slowly lift the head, 
Curl the back toes, the back knee lifts, walk your left foot to the center of your mat and walk the hands all the way in between the feet, lift halfway, inhale. This time you're going to grab your two big toes with your peace fingers and thumb and bend the elbows to the sides. Lift your sit bones higher and breathe a little bit deeper. For three more breaths. Lower the head a little bit lower. Offer your thoughts to the earth for the transmutation of your thoughts. We have the ability to transform it in every moment. We have the ability to choose how we want to become and how we want to be born again. Every moment is a rebirth. Lift halfway in hell. Stay here as you exhale. Your right hand stays down. You can totally use the block for the right hand to lift the earth higher. Lift your left arm to the sky and press the earth and touch the sky. Create that line of energy. Reach your crown forward and open the sit bones to the back. And again, pay attention in the twist that you are creating your spine as you spiral your spine from the tailbone to the crown of the head to help you cleanse, inhale, cleansing beyond the physical body. Yes, we are releasing toxins, but we are also releasing emotion. We are releasing fear and doubt and confusion in the mind. Inhale one more, exhale your left hand down, pause. Stay here, breathe in, stay here, breathe out. Switching sides. Lines of energy from the earth to the sky, from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Twist your spine, reach higher, go deeper, twist deeper, breathe deeper, gaze beyond your right thumb to the sky, we inhale, right hand down, exhale. Lift halfway, inhale, turn the heels towards one another. Narrow the stance between the feet, bring your hands to your lap and breathe for five. Shoulders relax down, toes left, bandhas active. Four, ujjayi breath, in and out through the nose, crown lifted to the sky, shin drops slightly to the chest. Four corners of the feet pressing down. Take another inhale. Bring your hands in prayer and you can lift one heel at a time. As you inhale, lower it down. As you exhale, the other side inhale and exhale. Star pose, breathing. Stay for the breath up. Slide tilt in the pelvis forward. Press down through the feet. Reach your fingers high, emanating positive energy, healing energy. So all the benefits that we are able to achieve as individuals here on our mass, we also have the ability to emanate, to expand to all beings. So send love to your loved ones. Send love to someone that you know is needing this strength, this healing, this vibration. We share in help. Hands in prayer, right toes in, left toes out. Point your left toes straight forward and walk that left foot a little bit to the back of your mat to open in Vira Badrasana too. Now hold five breaths. Paying attention in the structure of your pose. The left heel is aligned with the arch of the back foot. The back foot is pressing down through the outside edge into the mat. And the back leg muscle is engaged into the femur bone and the left knee is tracking with your middle toe. Shoulders relaxed, crown lifts. Another scan in the body from the earth, feet grounded, legs is strong, pelvis tilted, torso long, shoulder griddle open and relaxed, fingers reaching equally in every direction, crown reaching high, inhale. Stay through the exhale. Star pose, inhale, warrior two to the other side, 
left toes in, right toes out, take a peek at your feet, find your alignment, open up, stabilize, create the structure, the alignment, foundation, scan the body, remember to breathe, there is no judgment, if you ever find yourself lifting your trapezius muscles, just observe and relax them down. If you ever find yourself clenching your jaws, just observe and letting go. Go deeper into the lunge, squeeze the back leg muscle into the bone. Breathe across the chest as you reach your fingers equally in opposite directions. Keep your crown lifted high. Gaze beyond your right middle finger, inhale. And very slowly, cartwheel your hands, pop your back heel. Frame your right foot with both hands. Keep your back heel lifted. Dragonfly twist. Inhale. Exhale your right hand down. Both knees on the mat. Inhale. Keep your right knee on the mat and stretch your left leg to the back. Spin to the inside edge of your left foot. Lift your left arm to the sky. Adjust the arms so they are vertical. They are in perfect alignment. If they are not, there is no problem. We are just observing and mirroring ourselves with the perfection. We are not perfect, but we work towards that perfection. So press the earth, reach up to the sky, expanding through the extension of the arms. The stretch of our arms are the expansion of our heart space, giving us the opportunity to love more unconditionally, to have more compassion, to forgive easier. Take another inhale. Exhale slowly, your left hand down, both knees down, curl your toes, engage the core, find your downward facing top. Breathe. Step your right foot in between the hands and walk with the hands all the way towards the center of your mat in between the feet. Lengthen halfway, inhale and fold again, exhale. Rasarita Padottanasana. Lifting the sit bones, breathing deep. Lift halfway, inhale. Walk the hands towards your left foot, face the back, lower the right knee down, lower the left knee down, both knees down. Just for a moment, your right leg will stretch to the back, you spin to the inside edge of your right foot, you're going to find your variation of Vashistasana, modified Vashistasana on the other side. The hips lift. Try to touch the sky, create that expansion in your space across the chest, in your heart center, opening up, loving more, unconditionally, more kind, more compassion. It is never too much, the more the better, be the champion. So we can help others. Reach up, look up, inhale. On your hands and knees, exhale. Stay here for a couple breaths. We're going to move into hip circles. So slide your hands forward and move your hips to the right and forward and to the left and to the back. And you can explore the gaze. You can keep your hands glued on the mat for the foundation of your pose to help you with the movement. Explore the range of motion of hips and torso and neck and shoulders. Bring your belly down and pause. Create a pillow with your forearms. Rest your forehead on your forearms. Bend the knees, flex your ankles and move your feet to right and left. And just notice, where are you feeling this movement? In the lower part of your spine, lower back, 
hips, feet circulating, you can rotate your ankles, spread the toes, create action, pause in the center, go back to your hands and knees, and slide your hands forward for hip circles in the other direction, left and forward, practice sensuality on your mat, with freedom of your expression, with beauty. Observe the lips, they are gently sealed. And the breath, Ujjayi Pranayama. One more, inhale. And exhale. Come back to the belly. This time your forearms down, press your hands down, adjust yourself on the mat. Press the forearms down, lift your gaze forward, so gaze forward. And point your toes to the back corners of the mat. I like that shape here with the legs. Press your pubic bone down into the mat and lift your crown of the head to the sky. Feel the strength that you are able to create in your spine. Sphinx pose, gaze forward. Take a deep inhale, crown lifted. Exhale, drop the shin slightly towards the chest. Keep pressing the forearms down. Inhale, lift the head. Lift the gaze a little bit higher to the sky or maybe to the third eye. And exhale, shin to chest. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, inhale, exhale, legs are strong, and kept the left leg, quadricep muscle engaged, last one, inhale, exhale, gaze forward, press both forearms down into the earth, the forearms are parallel to the sides of the mat, lower the right ear towards the right shoulder, keep pressing both forearms down evenly into the earth, back to center, inhale. Stay here to the exhale, lift your crown higher. Your spine is getting so strong and healing the spine. Lower the left ear towards the left shoulder. Opening up the sides of the neck, right and left, front and back. One more, to the right. Back to center, inhale, to the left, exhale. Back to center, inhale, lower the heart all the way down to the mat, press your hands down. We are going to move into Anahata pose. So the knees under the hips, your hands will slide forward, your shin will drop towards the mat, and your pelvis is lifted, your sit bones are lifted. Shin and heart on the mat, heart to the earth pose. Anahata Asana, our heart chakra is touching the earth. And there is intention in everything that we do on the mat. We do everything with purpose. We bring our hearts to our mother earth to help us transmute feelings. We open the sit bones to the sky to help us let go excited. We release all the sorrow and suffering in our practice and we trust that divine energy is helping us. We give credit to the divine existence, but we also acknowledge our work as we show up to the mat. Bring your hands down, come to your hands and knees, inhale, walk your hands all the way to the right and let your head drop down. Stay here with in, stay here with out. Back to center, inhale and to the other side, exhale. Stay here, breathe in. Go deeper, breathe out. Maybe walk your hands a millimeter further to help you open more. And then you come back to center, inhale. Curl your toes, hips high, downward facing down. Look forward and step or walk or tip your toe to the top of the mat. Actually now we are facing the back of the mat, totally fine. Left halfway, inhale, bend the knees, find your Utkatasana. As you exhale, stand tall, Samasthiti. 
your right foot will step to the back of the mat. And we're going to externally rotate the pelvis to open up a lining heel of the left with the arch of the right. Open the R arms to the side for Trikonasana. We inhale, preparing, exhale, hinging forward. When we cannot go anymore, left hand down, right arm to the side. So we are doing Trikonasana with the left leg forward. Facing the back of the mat. Take a couple breaths here. Feet grounded. So when you lay to the pose, pay attention to the parts of the body that you are touching the earth. Feel grounded. That's the structure of your pose, foundations. We build that a lot here in our roots practice. And we scan the body from the earth, start going higher. The caps left, pelvis tilted. Torso long, the neck long as an extension of the spine. Spine is opening as we reach the crown forward, expanding, reaching the arms in both directions equally. And stay light with your left finger. Sometimes we're just collapsing the energy of the body all the way down towards the earth with gravity, but we are actually light with your left fingers, reaching higher to the sky to capture the energy from the heavens through the heart space. Inhale. Come on up, exhale, pointing the left toes in and right toes out to practice Trikonasana on the other side. Inhale, crown left, expand, cross the chest, hinge forward, lengthen more, and find your Trikonasana. Breathe. Press your right hand down and lift up higher. And again, instead of collapsing the energy down, stay light with your right fingers. Maybe hover the right fingers off the mat. You can always use a block for the right hand. You can grab your right big toe with a hook that you create with your fist fingers, or you can touch your ankle or your shin or even your knee. But it's important to keep your torso parallel to the mat. Keep the integrity of your spine. Keep the integrity of the foundation of your posture. Keep the integrity with your breath. Very important. Express yourselves through the gaze, reaching higher, looking higher. Press down to the feet. Inhale. You're going to bend the right knee and slowly step the back foot facing forward. Top of the mat, Samasthiti. Breathe. Inhale. Stay. Exhale. Left foot steps to the back. High crescent. Inhale. Hinge forward. And open the arms to the back. Roll your shoulders to the back. Turn the palms to face down. Reach your fingers to the back. Press your back heel to the back. Press your right sit bone to the back. So observe everything that is reaching to the back. Your fingers, your right sit bone, the left heel, your shoulders. So you're energizing reaching behind you. But your heart and your crown reaching forward. Create that dance of opposites. Inhale. Exhale, frame your right foot. Bend your right knee a lot. Shift the weight towards the right foot and lift the left leg parallel to the mat. Bend the right knee slightly if you need. Use the blocks if you need for your hands or any support at home. Reach your crown forward. Roll the shoulders back and press the left heel to the back like you're creating a footprint in the back wall. Inhale. Expand, exhale, bend the right knee, step the left foot behind you, walk your hands in between the feet, lengthening the spine, left halfway, inhale, roll the shoulders back, walk your hands all the way towards the back of your mat. Rise up to your high crescent, as you inhale, settle, as you exhale, palms face one another, front ribs draw in, pay attention from the earth. Lifting up the energy, scanning the body, find your lightning crescent. Palms face down, roll the shoulders back, reach your fingers to the back, press the right heel to the back, press the left sit bone to the back, shoulders rolling back, shoulder blades drawing to the chest, heart is opening forward, crown is reaching away to expand more, inhale, frame your left foot. Bending the knees to slowly transition and shift the weight of the body to the left foot. Walk the hands forward. 
reach the crown forward, point your right toes down, square the hips to the mat, square the shoulders to the mat. Create a footprint in the back wall, create the lines of energy. Inhale. Stay through the exhale. Take another inhale. Lengthen more, expand more. Lengthening through the neck. Bend your left knee, step your right foot behind you, walk the hands in between the feet. Lift halfway, inhale, roll the shoulders back, exhale, heels in, toes out, toe heel, the feet, toes touch, bend the knees, find your Utkatasana. So we are all facing forward. We're going to stay here for a moment with both knees bent, inhale, stay through the exhale, inhale, your right foot to lift. So this is it, find a focal point in front of you to set your drishti point, your gaze, to help you stay focused, determination, flex the right foot, so the sole of your right foot is pointing forward, breath is powerful, inhale, both feet down, exhale, stand up, hands in prayer, Samasthiti. Take a couple breaths here, stay focused, your communion with your breath, divine within, Divine around you, everywhere, in everyone. Chair pose. Shift the weight to the right foot, lift the left knee. Inhale. You can cross one thumb behind the other, or you can even keep your arms open. Two more breaths. Crown left, the shoulders relaxed. Take another inhale. Exhale, stand tall, Samasthiti. Great. Maybe a little smile. We take our practice so serious, and this is so good that we take it serious because we are disciplined, but we have so much fun. It's such a good time we spend on our mats. Feel good. Facing forward, Samasthiti here. Couple breaths. Inhale, one more. Exhale, bend the knees, your left foot step to the back. This time you're gonna spin the left heel down. And you're gonna bring your hands to your hips and you're gonna look straight forward to help the hips stay squared. So you press your right hip to the back and you use the help of your left hand to press your left hip forward. Adjust the hips forward. And we're going to scan the body here a little bit. We are doing warrior one towards the end of the practice. Warrior one is kind of a challenging pose. But we are feeling more warmed up. The feet are grounded. The left thigh muscle is engaged into the bone. The hips are squared. Find your lunge when you are ready. Lift your arms to the sky. And if that feels good, lift your gaze. I, again, like to cross my right thumb behind my left thumb when I'm doing my warrior one with the right leg forward. It's up to you. The expression with your arms is uniquely yours. And every day we are different. So sometimes I also like to open your, my arms. So find your expression today. Draw the front ribs in, tilt your pelvis forward. Take another inhale. Exhale, extend your front leg. Bring your hands in prayer. Turn, facing forward. Facing the center to find warrior one in the other side. The hands can come to the pelvis again, hips are squared. Arms will lift, lift the gaze, inhale, stay grounded to the feet. Right leg muscle active, pelvis tilted, shoulders relaxed, lift your gaze. This time if you want, you can cross your left thumb behind the right thumb. That also helps us balance our energy, the right, the male, the left is the female. We all have both. We are coming to balance. If you want, you can open the arms. Two more breaths. Shoulders relax. Maybe go deeper into the lunge. Maybe arch back a little bit more. Inhale. And then stand tall. Both legs long. Facing to the center. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, look up. Reach up. Exhale to foot. Inhale to lift halfway. This time you're going to bend your knees a lot and have a seat. Breathe here, inhale. Press your heels forward. 
Walk the sit bones to the back, maybe move the flesh of the sit bones, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, you can use a strap. If you don't have a strap at home, you can use a scarf. When you come to the mat, you know, grab whatever support you need. Remembering that we are supported fully. Vashimottanasana, two breaths. Stay in hell. Stay through the exhale. Lift the head slowly, bring your hands behind you. Reverse tabletop, adjust the feet, adjust the hands so they are aligned. Raise under the shoulders, ankles under the knees. Pelvis left, feel the stretch of the shoulders. Inhale, lower the seat bones down, exhale. The forearms can help you lower the spine all the way down. Give yourself a hug, inhale. Soles of the feet on the mat, touch your heels with your fingers so they are close to the sit bones. Lift your pelvis for bridge pose, lengthen the tailbone forward, chin towards chest, crown reaches to the back. Breathe, your spine is strong, bringing healing. One more inhale, exhale, lower one butter at a time, your spine down, give yourself a hug. You can create circles with your knees. Both directions. Eventually pause in the center. Keep your right knee bent, left leg long. Inhale. Bring your right knee across the body. Open your right arm to the side. And like gravity this time, help you relax the shoulders down. Stay for the breath. In, you can flex both ankles. Stay active still in your pose, in your breath. And slowly coming back to center. Both knees bent. Inhale. Right leg back to the mat. Exhale. Twist on the other side. Stay here, breathe in, twist deeper, breathe out. One more inhale, stay through the exhale. Back to center, inhale, knees bent, Shavasana. If you have any other pose, go ahead, take your time to practice. So you feel complete, you feel whole. Take your time in your Shavasana. Spend as much time as you like, with no effort. Complete surrender. Allowing the body to dissolve with the earth. Giving ourselves permission to disintegrate so we can finally integrate all that we have done. Taking your time, whenever you're ready, you can come back to Shavasana during the day to remember to relax. Make your way slowly back. Deepening the breath, moving hands and fingers, toes, circling ankles, stretch the arms over the head, inhale, give yourself a hug and roll to one side. As you exhale, use the help of the hands to make your way to a seated. Pause here, bow the head towards the heart, bring your hands to prayer. Bow your head to your prayer gestures, all your intentions are valuable. You are valuable. Namaste.